Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I think you are doing well at home. Okay. So in the previous session we have discussed regarding the agriculture of the of Japan. So in this session we will discuss regarding industrial zones of Japan. Okay. So we will discuss here industrial. No sorry, industrial not zone. Industrial this is region. So, like agricultural zone, uh, industrial zone also has also divided into several parts, like uh, Nagoya region, Osaka, Kyoto region, Tokyo region. So, like that, wherever the industrialization is developing or day by day, or which or those regions can give the high amount of the GDP or develop in the industry. So, that region generally uh, economically divided in the industrial regions. Okay. <coughs> so, here we will discuss uh, about first one. Number one, Tokyo Yokohama region. Tokyo Yokohama region. So we can see here uh, this Tokyo, this whole region is industrial region, okay, mainly developed. Tokyo is here. So Tokyo Yokohama region, number one, that is the Nagoya region, that is the Osaka Go Kyoto region. And different sub regions are also there, but these are main regions of Japan, industrial region. So first one is the Tokyo Yokohama region. So next one is the Nagoya region. Okay. Number C is the Osaka Ko Kyoto region. So these are the main regions of industrial regions of Japan. If the question will come, what are the different regions of Japan, industrialism, then you can, or question will come like this, uh, give a brief description about the industrialism of Japan. So you have to write this Tokyo Yokohama region, Nagoya region, Osaka, Ko, Kyoto region. <coughs> okay. Then another region is there, uh, number D. Here also you, North. Kyushu. Industrial region. Okay. Now we'll discuss separately uh, what are the significance of Tokyo Yokohama region, what are the different characteristics of Nagoya region, uh, different raw material base, different export import, different growth rate, different GDP of this Osaka of Kyoto region. Next, North Kyoto industrial region. Okay, let's wrap this. Sorry, this is North Kyoto region. Okay, so these are main regions: North Kyoto, Tokyo, Yokohama, Nagoya region, Osaka. -ko. These are four main uh, industrialized regions. <coughs> okay. Uh, this generally Tokyo or uh, Yokohama region is actually vast in size with comparing to the other regions. This is something vast. And uh, uh, generally, uh, the extending, if we talk about the extension of this uh, area, this Tokyo Yokohama region, this is uh, 1000 uh, kilometer. Kilometer uh, from Tokyo Yokohama to Nagoya. From Tokyo to Nagoya region. Okay, this is generally 1000 kilometers. So, this is very vast in size. So, if this vast in size, generally this is the backbone of the economy of the Japan. It, it gives the high amount of the GDP. And here, 80% uh, of the population generally uh, engaged in the secondary activities. Because we know how many activities are there secondary, tertiary, quaternary, quinary. Uh, primary is different, primary is mainly rural areas, so 80% of the populations are generally uh, engaged in what? Tokyo Yokohama region. 80% of the population, that means in Tokyo Yokohama region, 80% of the population engaged in secondary activities. Okay. And it includes Honsu Island, most of the part of the Honsu Island. Because we know this is the Honsu Island, largest island in Japan. So most of the part of the Tokyo Yokohama region generally include the Honsu Island. And generally, uh, this is the in the coastal area. So definitely it is 
Fall in the seed building. Seed building again, car manufacturing. Okay, again, aircraft, again, aircraft manufacturing. Again, something uh, advanced in textile also. Not handle power. Okay. And here, generally, uh, around 25 big cities are there. 25 big cities. Uh, so many cities are there from Tokyo to Nobody, Yokohama, Osaka. Achiu, Sekoko, okay, so many big cities are here. Generally, in this region, 30% of the production of Japan, 30% of the production of Japan provided by this Tokyo Yokohama region, okay, because this is the largest industrial region of Japan <coughs> and it produces some amount of hydroelectricity. Hydroelectricity, because uh, the here highland is also there, mountain is also there. And uh, in the mountainous region, generally it is very easy to uh, is, uh, produce hydroelectricity because it is very easy to construct the dam. Okay. So generally, uh, most of the Honshu Island is covered by Tokyo Yokohama region. What is the length? One thousand kilometer. So I have grabbed this one thousand kilometer from Tokyo to the Yokohama. Okay. Okay. So let's discuss uh, another region, Osaka to Kyoto region. So Osaka Cove region generally what? This is here, this is in the uh, coastal area of Osaka Bay. Coastal area of Osaka Bay. Here we can form the Osaka Bay. The region is here, Osaka Bay. So Bay means what? Bay means the water bodies which is surrounded by land from the three sides. That is called Bay, like Bay of Bengal in Indian Ocean. Okay. Coastal area of Osaka Bay. You please try to understand this word bay. Uh, generally, uh, previously we have discussed that uh, Kinki uh, Plain. So this region actually in Osaka Cove, Kyoto region is in the Kinki Plain. Generally it is covered. So that's why we can hear Kinki Plain, Osaka Kyoto, Kyoto region is situated in the Kinki Plain of Japan. Then in this region, if the region is plain, then definitely it will develop in transport and communication. So we can write here, it is developed in uh, water transport and uh, some sort of uh, railway transport is also developed. Water transport and railway. So due to availability of railways and the water transport, generally this plane is developed in the industrialization because it can bring the raw materials from other countries or it can directly connect to the CPR dog yard to directly uh, throw the uh, ocean they can import and export the commodities okay <coughs> then here also we can get uh, 10 towns means important 10 towns are important because they generate income more and they give the goods and supply production uh, this consumption is more <coughs> okay generally uh, Osaka and this Kyoto region Osaka Kyoto region famous for textile industries. Textile industries because they directly bring uh, import uh, textile from the other countries like Australia because they import the textile industry which is which is the main raw materials. We know that for textile industry cotton is the main raw material. So well, due to availability of the cotton directly they can import the uh, cotton for the textile industry. That's why this region is Osaka and the Kyoto region is developed in the textile industry. Okay. So because here again raw materials are also available but generally their raw materials uh, bring from foreign countries. So if we talk about the foreign countries generally uh, 
those countries are near to Japan. Which countries are near to Japan? Russia is near to Japan. Russia, uh, again, Philippines is here. Philippines. We know Philippines is uh, developed in rice cultivation, cotton cultivation. Okay. Philippines, again, Korea is here. North Korea, South Korea. Again, China is here. So near to the China, Philippines, Russia, Korea. It gives raw materials. It provides raw materials to the Japanese companies. And they produce the goods. Again, they export the goods to the other countries. <coughs> okay. Again. So these are all about this Osaka Cop Kyoto tourism. I think you have cleared. Just in the map, you will remember. Where is Osaka Cop Kyoto tourism? Where is Nagoya region? Where is Tokyo, Yokohama? Where is North Kyoto tourism? North Kyoto is generally, it should be in the northern side of the Kyoto. Because this is Hokkaido, Honsu, Shikoku, Kyoto. This is the Kyoso Island, Obada, uh, north of the Kyoso Island, Kyoso region is here. Then, this in the from Tokyo to this Osaka, in this bay, Osaka Bay, all the industrial regions are there. Okay. Now, let's discuss another reason. Sorry, I apologize because of this quality of the marker, it takes time to rub it. Okay, we'll discuss next. Nagoya industry region that will that will come under third three Nagoya industry region. So in Nagoya industrial region generally it is situated in the east coast. Situated in the east coast. East coast means which is the east coast? This is the east coast because if we divide that is north, that is that is north, that is south, that is east, that is west because Japan is like this, no? This is north, we can write this is south, okay? This is west, this is east, eastern side. So generally in the east coast, what? No way in the western region is there, okay? But east coast of which island? <coughs> east coast of Honsu because we know that this island is Honsu. You don't confuse Hokkaido, Honsu, Shikoku, Kyushu. Shikoku, Kyushu. Okay. So generally, uh, this Nagoya region is, uh, we know, this is called the cotton hub of uh, Japan. Okay. And this is also called what? Most important, Detroit of Japan. Because Detroit is in England. But uh, it, they have given a title to the Japan because it manufactured like Detroit. The GDP or the manufacturing quality is like Detroit. So that's why it is called the Detroit of Zafa. So this is the center of textile. There is cotton, silk, okay, etc. And this region is called, already I have told, this region is called the Detroit of Japan, right? Why they product Japan? Because the manufacturing quality or their actually uh, economy activities are same like that one. And last but not least, not the least, that is the number four. And the reason is there. Again, this uh, this reason is famous for car manufacturing, shipbuilding also. And it has good dockyard system, right? Good dockyard facilities and dockyard system. That's why they can bring raw materials easily from the other countries. And these uh, dockyards are actually, they are the backbone of the export. Export and import, that is, we can directly call it trade, trade of the economy. <coughs> okay, this is now we have reason. Okay, now let's move to the last region of this industrial zones of Japan.
procedure is generally okay not true so not true so industrial reason so this is a not true so industrial reason okay so we'll see here what are the different characteristics not true so industrial reason is directly it is uh, near to the korea korea and china so if it is near to the korea and china definitely uh, they will bring raw material from korea and china again they will export again raw materials again produce goods to the korea and china and it is right near to the uh, philippines also this is also near to philippines okay so this uh, north kyushu industrial is situated in the northern part of northern part of kyushu northern part of kyushu island okay and this is generally famous for coal coal are found there okay because here are uh, some sort of minerals are found there coal petroleum in some sort of diamond is also there in japan so in every continent diamond is there but coal is very famous in this region coals are found mainly <coughs> but this region is generally advanced in heavy industries <coughs> heavy industries so uh, due to high amount of the heavy industries these facilities they are mainly famous in sibili because here south china sea is there south china sea. near to the north coast region south china sea is there so sibili activity so that's why in sibili activity generally it is done in mainly uh, some cities are there so some important cities i write a name here important cities generally yawa wata okay number one yawa wata number two nagasaki because we know that in nagasaki what happens in 1945 bomb was blasted little boy fat boy okay due to the cold war sorry due to the world war so they people actually uh, severely there affected from that and now also uh, earthquake is very frequent there because this japan is falls in the transition zone of the uh, this earthquake zone actually i think you have heard about the ring of fire so it japan falls in the earthquake zone okay <coughs> then again another reason is there shimosaki so yawata nagasaki shimosaki it gives the large amount of this uh, ship building product ship building means ship building means ship production of the ship So this is advanced in heavy industries. Coals are mainly found in that region, northern part of the Kyushu Island. So I think all the concept clear regarding this industrial region. Nothing is there in your syllabus. This is not Kyushu region. Again, uh, just uh, remember this. Tokyo, Yokohama region, Nagoya region, Osaka, Tokyo, Kyoto region, East Kanto region, Frontier Zone, Hokkaido region, Honshu. This is Hokkaido. So I think all this concept clear regarding Japan. Okay, Japan is the land of rising sun. Uh, so I apologize because previous video I have told you Assam is the land of rising sun. So sorry for that. Japan is the land of rising sun. Okay. So this is the uh, end of the chapter. Okay. If you have any query, you give me the feedback session. So up to here. So today this is the end of the chapter. Okay. So thank you. All the best.